Hi. So, I was scrolling down through Twitter at 5 o'clock in the morning because I have no life, obviously. This is probably why I sleep in and why I will reinforce the fact that I am a responsible adult. 5 o'clock in the morning, I was looking down through and I saw Community Crunch 99 was just posted. And with it, they released something that is more adorable than the Jerboa. The Otter apparently is coming to ARK. I, th I genuinely second-guessed even making that making a dossier video because I didn't know if it was just them messing around or if it was an actual thing. Apparently it's an actual thing, so I'm going to show you guys the dossier for the Otter. They also have some new information on the tech equipment that is coming to the game, such as the sword, shield, and a tech light that I didn't even know about. I had, I had absolutely no idea. But either way, guys, as always... If you do enjoy these dossier videos, leave a like on the video, so I will continue them in the future. It's been a long time, I know. Hi. <laughs> How you guys doing? Welcome to a, a, a dossier video, if you, if you don't know what these are, because, I mean, there's so few and far between that it wouldn't surprise me if you didn't know what they were. Not that it really matters. So anyways, here is the dossier information on the otter. So, it is found on the island's many inland waterways. The otter has become exceptionally adept at hunting and foraging. Well, it's a tiny creature. It's adorable as shit. Like, it has to be able to at least forage. I can't imagine this thing hunting unless this is some kind of prehistoric otter I don't know about, and it can actually eat a full-grown human. <laughs> this species of otter has to be particularly cunning because of its diminu diminutive size. Is that how I say that? I, I probably butchered that and fierce competition for its preferred food source. Fish. It is not a creature that excels at combat and would not naturally pose an intimidating threat to any predators. It's still cute and adorable. Like, it could be a threat. I mean, what kind of self-respecting dinosaur would even try to eat something so cute? How big was this thing? Uh, not very big. Like, it's... it's... Unless it's a baby on the- maybe that's a plot twist. Maybe it's a baby on the shoulder of that person we see, and the- the actual ones are the size of, like, death worms. That'd be amazing! Holy shit, I want- I better see a mod like that. Finding packs of river otters is simple enough. They are distinguished by their elongated bodies, bushy tails, and web feet. They're so cute. Their trusting and inquisitive nature ensures that they are often hunted for their lustrous fur. But many prefer to tame them to become trusted companions. I would tame the shit out of them. Who wouldn't tame the shit out of these things? I mean, they're small, bushy raccoons, basically. Not really, because raccoons are kind of scary, actually. I, hmm. I don't know. All I know is otters are really cute. I want one. I've wanted one, but I hear they're a lot of work. If you guys... If, <laughs> does anyone have a pet otter? Like, do you... How, how hard are they to maintain? Because, like, I've heard otters as a pet are not very... They're not very good to have because, like, they, they have a lot of health issues and shit. Am I thinking of something else? No, otters. I'm pretty sure it's otters. You can tell how much experience I have with an otter and stuff. Either way, when domesticated, there are few creatures which provide the companionship that the otter does. I'm saying otter instead of the Lutra Pel Peliso because I'm probably saying that wrong. Rather than traveling beside you, it will prefer to comfortably rest on your back. Providing insulation. Oh, that's that's actually a really good one. That's that's really good because maybe it'll keep you warmer now in the cold biomes and stuff. You have like an otter cape. Holy shit! You could like, what if you like run around really fast and the things like claws are stuck into your shoulder and it's kind of like fluttering in the breeze. I'm thinking of like a a, a a flying squirrel now. I think. Once domesticated, it can be told to harvest fish on demand with a specific goal in mind from the fish that it consumes. The otter has a knack for foraging silica pearls, that's really useful, that's a very big point, and can even yield a significant chance at finding black pearls with it. Are you serious? Black pearls too? Holy shit, get your otter farms out! Oh my god, black pearls? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have a lot of these. So that's basically everything on the otter. It will be amazing for getting black pearls, or apparently okay-ish at getting them, but like, anything that can help you get black pearls is going to be amazing because they are required for the end tier stuff. You want to get one. You definitely do. I'm noticing in the picture of the otter too, it has some really razor sharp teeth. I feel like this guy could probably do some damage to your arm if it uh, if it got pissed off at you. Imagine if it had a rage, uh, a rage mechanic like the, like the Giga. That'd be scary. 
That'd be amazing, actually. But anyways, I'm moving down the page now. Um, this is the Community Crunch page. You can see the tech armor with the sword. The sword looks a lot different now that it's powered. It looks more like a lightsaber, and the shield doesn't really... No, well, the shield's kind of glowing, I guess. And tech lights right here. I was wondering what those were. They're like little starfish on the roof. So those are the tech lights right there. I Okay, I tried to zoom in. Apparently, it just wants to flash me. I can't even zoom in. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Are you gonna are you gonna work? Right there. This thing, the starfish. Yes, that's, that's a tech light. Cool. So, for those of you wondering what's going on in Ark right now, for those of you living under the mesh and haven't been keeping up to date with the news, Ark has entered its final stage of development towards version 1.0 and will be officially launching on August 29th, 2017. It's about time. Goddamn. There has been a ton of questions regarding what will happen to the development of Ark, whether there will be additional content added to the base game, in vain of new friends to tame, new engrams to learn, items to craft, QOL, gameplay, and optimizations. What the hell is QOL? What the, what I'm thinking uh, is that survival? Of, no, I don't know. I it's, whatever optimization improvements and uh, the answer to all that is yes. They're still going to keep on working. Ark is like their, Ark is their cash camel. They make a ton of money from Ark selling this game. I don't think they're ever going to drop Ark until they see sales drop to the point where they can no longer fund projects for the game. Even if sales dropped off, I feel like they would still continue development and just cut back development a little bit and cut some jobs out and continue on with it and try to make it more profitable. That's that's the logical thing in my mind, thinking in a business sense. But what they had to say was, we will be continuing to work on the base game as well as plans for the future content in the form of free updates, which is really nice, and DLC, paid and free. So there will be free DLCs and paid DLCs. And to be honest with you, I don't really mind paying for DLCs when it comes to ARK because they do offer a quality product. Uh, <coughs> minus their AI, because their AI is still shitty, but whatever. Um, today we'd like to give you a bit of an early preview slash tease of what you can expect for later this month on release, in addition to the mystery behind the tech cave. Whoa, or beyond the tech cave. What, what do you mean the mystery of the tech cave? Are they going to explain the backstory of Ark and why there's a tech cave? Are they going to explain... Uh, what, what's, what, are they going to confirm aliens? Are, are, like, is ETA... ETA. ET phoning home inside that cave. I hmm. Oh well. And they're gonna release the their cute friend, the otter too, and it will be introducing some new tech items. So the tech sword with a dash charge attack, as well as armor piercing capability, which is wow. I'm just wondering, does the tech shield negate the tech sword? Uh, and its armor piercing cap uh, capability. Does it mean the tech sword can slash past the tech armor? The tech shield, which can reflect incoming projectiles and bullets and completely stop splash damage, which is grenades and like the plasma bullets and stuff, which I don't know how that's going to work because that shield doesn't cover your legs. How does that? Hmm. Whatever. The tech light that can be attached or picked up to and from any surface and it's self-powered by element shards or can be linked to generators. Tech lights are going to be so convenient because the ones we currently have are dog shit. I hate. Well, I don't hate the floodlight feel. I kind of like it. It reminds me of like a zombie apocalypse, but I really don't like them right now because the way the angle is of those lights. If you have a metal base, you're basically blinded just by walking around your base. And that's something that really gets under my skin. I hate it so much walking into a metal base and you're just you can't see because it's just too much light. It's, it's reflecting and stuff. So this light looks like it's going to be on the ceiling and it's going to be looking down. Well, you could probably attach it to anything like the walls or the floor or the ceiling. I would probably choose the ceiling so you don't get that reflection shit. That's annoying. Art out bloom quality space zero, just so you know, so you can stop that. And finally, in this uh, hoobity waddy thing they have for information, their latest official mod, Ragnarok will be receiving a large update, which is approximately the size of the island. That is massive on itself. Players can expect to encounter new biomes such as the coastal Wyvern Canyon, a tropical desert, lowlands, Tasmania, <laughs> that's cool, several iconic beaches and a hidden temple, a new cave, an epic boss encounter, and more. Here are some screenshots of the upcoming areas, and then they have these areas right here, which are, they look really nice, actually. I like those. This, you got the... Oh, I remember seeing this. I showed you guys this in a video already because I got past the wall, but it looks more complete there now. 
we have another rock structure place it reminds me of scorched earth up here that's what that reminds me of and wow this looks really nice the lighting and the effects that looks really nice actually i have a i have a creeping suspicion right here is jerboa island is this jerboa island because there's a bunch of jerboas that just spawn there and like i'm not even kidding guys i logged out in this area with full tech gear no one stole my shit and i didn't die I was there for like a week. I'm not even kidding. Like I didn't log in for seven days, at least, maybe even longer, and I wasn't dead. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. But on top of all of this, players will also be able to tame Titan Aboas, which is something that's really crazy because those things are going to be amazing for knocking things out. Titan Aboas are the bane of my existence, just so you know. I hate dealing with them. I hate anything long, slithery, and dick-shaped. Just so you know. That's just a heads up. We know you've been waiting for this for a while, and we feel confident with our latest optimization work in adding them to the Ark. Their taming method will involve alluring these terrifying snakes with the fertilized egg with a fertilized egg to feed on. That's that is so cool. You can actually use an egg to tame a creature instead of making kibble out of the egg. Huh. I like it. I like it a lot. So they are still planning on our mid-month update, which will resolve the current loading crash on console player dedicated servers. Introduce our DDoS mitigation for all official servers, which is very important because a DDoS attack cripples any and all game developers. There's no way to completely stop a DDoS. All you can do is mitigate it and sometimes to hide your IP so they can't get you, but eventually they will always get back to it. They're going to address a duping exploit and they are going to allow players to rent PC dedicated console servers. PC dedicated console servers will initially be rolling out with the PlayStation 4. Yada, yada, yada. That's basically it for all of the stuff here. Now, I want to make mention that this duplication bug that the Alpha Tribes have been using. Well, I've heard from numerous sources that there are a lot of tribes that are going to face serious punishment for the duping shit so if you are doing the duping stuff probably stop because i've been hearing a lot about it and i would have given you guys a a sooner heads up about it but the problem is i don't really record arc as much as i used to i still love the game it's just i have other stuff that i record as well and well sometimes arc just doesn't like to work for me but i will still continue recording arc so don't worry if you're here for arc don't worry it's going to be a thing still i'm gonna have a series starting up really soon that i'm going to do my best to stick with because i i keep on abandoning them because i get bored of the game god damn it but that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it i will leave a link to this entire article so you can go down through all of this lovely lovely information in the comment section below and i want to make note now to keep an eye out for dragon punk there is a mod right now that is being worked on you can find them on twitter uh i'll link that in the description of the video too that you can check out but there is a mod being worked on right now. It is one of the most anticipated mods that you're going to find on the workshop once it's released. And it has a ton of content. You need to check it out. Seriously, you you probably won't regret it if you do. Um, I didn't see anything. But that's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video.